Your fantasy football drafts are over, and now it's time to set your lineup for week one, and that's why I'm here with fantasy expert Mike Wilkening to tell you which players to exploit and which players to avoid based on their week one matchups. Now let's start with someone to exploit, Mike. you got Jets running back Sean Green going against the Bills in week one. The Bills' defensive line has improved 28th versus the run last season. They allowed 19 rushing scores. Look, the Jets' offense was horrible in the preseason. Everybody knows it. They can't be that bad, right? Green's a clear-cut featured back, and he got a lot of opportunities. I think it's a good matchup. Yeah, Tony Sproul's going to give him the rock a lot. We'll see if that Bills' improved defensive front seven can stop him. On the 49ers' side, tight end Vernon Davis, always a quality tight end when it comes to fantasy, and you think he's got a really good matchup this week against Green Bay. Right, he's a must-start uh, in just about all formats. And look, the Niners added some receivers in the offseason, but I think he's still the go-to guy. He had a great postseason. 292 yards, four touchdowns. And the Packers' pass defense was horrible last year. I think you want to see them make improvement before kind of reaching any conclusions that they have taken a step forward. So I think Davis is a must play this week. We'll see if Charles Woodson, the safety, has any matchups against Vernon Davis. That'll be fun to watch. Now, call players to avoid sticking with that Green Bay San Francisco game. The Packers have a new running back, Cedric Benson, in the backfield. Now, you want fantasy owners to avoid using Cedric Benson against that 49ers defense. I like Cedric Benson as a season long proposition. I think he's going to be a guy that's going to help some fantasy teams this year, but I think in week one, it's a tough matchup. We've got San Francisco, best run defense last year. Benson is not a pass catching threat, he's been with the offense less than a month. I could see a situation where his touches are somewhat limited and he doesn't do a ton in those touches. So I think if you've got other options, maybe you look elsewhere in week one. Yeah, I think the 49ers have kind of supplanted the Steelers of that team. When you have a running back, you just never want to start him when you play San Francisco. The last player we're going to talk about, maybe you should avoid in your fantasy lineups, an interesting one. Bills wide receiver Stevie Johnson. So go back to that Jets-Bills matchup. Stevie had a lot of success against Darrell Revis last year. He's been limited in practices with the groin injury. Revis, probably a chip on his shoulder, wants to get after him. You say avoid Stevie for week one. Right. I, I think past success versus Darrell Revis is no guarantee of future performance. That's the way I see it. Darrell Revis is the best cornerback in the game. We've got Johnson maybe not at full strength. I, I think you probably play him in three receiver formats, even bigger two receiver sort of formats, but I think you've got to tailor your expectations accordingly. I think if you're going to be relying on him, you're going to need other guys to step up this week because, like you mentioned, Kevin, I think Jarrell Reeves has got a real chip on his shoulder this week. Yeah, Revis, Stevie Johnson, always a fun matchup when those two go up against each other. To see all the players you should exploit or avoid in your fantasy football matchups, check out Mike's article at our website, profootballweekly.com.